Good evening, this is Newswatch 9 for Wednesday, March 16th. It was a winter-like day today in Toku and Kanto, where many people are living in shelters. Some areas do not have any means of communication and no assistance has been provided. We'll look at the current situation in disaster-stricken areas and give you an update on the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. White plumes have been rising from the number three reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, says the cooling system of storage pool for spent nuclear fuel has apparently broken down and coolant water is evaporating. If the coolant continues to evaporate, spent fuel could be exposed and overheat, causing more problems. The helicopter took off from a base for the troubled nuclear plant. The helicopter was to pour a large amount of water on the reactor where the white plume was observed. The white vapor was emitted continuously from a building seen at the center of the screen. What appeared to be smoke was seen coming from the number three reactor this morning. <laughs> An official of Tokyo Electric Power Company says white columns of steam are being released from the number three reactor. He says the company is now trying to determine what's happening. Utility firm says the vapor was coming from a storage pool for spent nuclear fuel, not from the reactor itself. This official says the company has injected water into reactor number one, two and three, but has not done so for the storage pools at all six reactors at the plant. He also says the white plume indicates the situation at number three reactor is getting worse. The plant operator said the storage pool at the number three reactor hasn't been cooled and coolant water is evaporating. If the coolant continues to evaporate, spent fuel would be exposed and overheat. Ground self-defense dis force dispatched a helicopter to prevent this from happening. But the helicopter returned without completing its mission because its crew members were exposed to a higher level of radiation than permitted. Flames were seen for about 30 minutes this morning at the number four reactor, where an explosion and a fire occurred yesterday. The National Police Agency has decided to use trucks to pour water on the reactor. A squad from Tokyo Police is scheduled to start, to start hosing the site later this evening. Tokyo Electric Power Company temporarily evacuated its employees after radiation levels suddenly rose near the main entrance of the nuclear plant. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency had this to say. This official says the agency believes that the radiation levels rose because of the trouble at the number two reactor. He says the suppression chamber at the reactor has been damaged. So the agency su suggested that radioactive substances have leaked from the reactor. The science ministry has released data on radiation levels within the 30 kilometer radius from the Fukushima Daiichi plant, where people were told to evacuate or stay indoors. The highest level was 80 microsieverts per hour recorded at a location about 25 kilometers from the plant. The figure is a little higher than usual but does not immediately affect human health. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yuko Idano had this to say. He says the radiation levels do not affect people who work outdoors for a short period of time or stay in the area for several days. 
He also said he has heard that food and other supplies are not being delivered to areas outside of the evacuation zones. He calls on people not to overact so daily necessities can be delivered to those areas.